Hi, let's talk about the salt bridge. This can be a point of confu confusion for students. Um, so the salt bridge is right here. It connects the two half cells, okay? Um, here's the most common mistake that students make on the salt bridge. They think that the ions from these solutions can travel through the salt bridge. No, no. These two half reactions, they will never touch each other, never touch each other. The only thing that is going to move in the salt bridge is the salt itself, okay? So burn that into your brain. The only thing that will move from this salt bridge into the solutions is the salt itself, okay? Now, a salt bridge is kind of interesting. Um, it looks almost like a straw with this gummy gel in it. That's what the salt bridge is. And they take it and they put it in the two half reactions. Now, here's the official definition for salt bridge and I'll show you why it's confusing. Two half cells are connected, okay, I see it, two half cells are connected to allow cations and anions to move bef uh, between the half cells. Well, that's why students are like, oh, great, we have this reaction happening. No, the cations and anions that move are only the salt. Only the salt from the salt bridge are the cations and the anions that move. Now, um, I put this here, I'm also gonna put a star by it. Only the ions from the salt bridge actually move, okay. Um, the ions in the solution cannot travel through that bridge. So remember, the, um, the ions that you have in each solution, they're not going to travel through that bridge. They will never touch each other. Um, and if they do, you have a broken battery. You have a broken battery. Let's see here. Last thing, the salt bridge, here's the purpose. The salt bridge maintains a neutrality of the solutions. We're having ions change from solid to um, ion or vice versa. And so you get a buildup of charge. And if you get too much buildup of charge, the electrons won't move anymore. And remember electrons moving, that's current. Um, we want those electrons to move. So we have to have the salt bridge to allow those electrons to move that there's not a buildup of charge in either half reaction. Um, here's what I want you to be careful on. Watch the stoichiometric ratio. I've seen questions where students are asked to write the number of ions that are produced that come into the solution from the salt bridge and you have to have the right ratio. Um, I've also seen questions where students have to point the direction, which ion is going to go into which solution. So let me help you um, think this out. Um, here I have a silver and a copper um, electrochemical cell, it's voltaic. Uh, the silver is being reduced, gaining the electrons and our copper is being oxidized, it's losing the electrons. So the electrons are flowing from the oxidized, the anode, over to the reduced, the cathode. Okay, remember electrons always go anode to cathode. Always go from oxidation to reduction, from being lost to being gained. Um, so when that happens, um, the two electrons that we get from the copper, they bump their way over here, and two electrons are going to attract two silver ions. Um, so it's going to go from silver ion to silver solid. So this is going to lose two of those silver ions into a silver solid. And this is what we see as the electrode, it kind of looks like it's growing and it's because it's plating. It's going from silver as an ion in the solution, gaining an electron and becoming a solid. And it sticks to that electrode that's a solid. Um, so I am losing all this positive charge well, this solution is silver nitrate. So if I lose two of those silver ions, they become silver solid, that means I have two extra nitrates. This gets a buildup of negative charge, okay? So I'm gonna write this here, a build up of negative charge. So just by attraction, because I have this salt bridge, if I have two sodium or nitrate ions, extra nitrate ions, I get a buildup of negative charge. What's going to be attracted? The positive potassium or the negative chlorine? Chloride is the potassium. So when I lose two silvers, okay, so I might have two silver atoms here. Those two are now gone. I'm going to erase this. These are gone. They're no longer here. They've now become solid, okay? Now become solid. I have the two nitrates. So this is going to attract to potassium, to potassium like that. Um, now, over here, what's happening? So, we are going from copper solid to copper ion and losing the two electrons. So I'm going from this solid copper and it's becoming a Cu2 plus. All right, 
Now this is a copper nitrate, copper two nitrate. So this solution for every one copper two nitrate, there's one copper two nitrates. Well, I just um, lost a copper solid right here, became a copper ion. And we're gonna get more and more and more of these copper two plus ions. So this makes a buildup of positive charge. Build up of positive charge. So by default, simply by attraction, um, for every one copper ion that goes from copper solid to copper ion, that's a two plus, is going to attract two chloride ions because chloride's only a minus one. So I'd have to have minus one plus minus one minus two to balance and attract to that copper, which is a two plus. Um, so you're looking at um, the charge that we've got, as well as the number of ions that are lost, um, or excuse me, that change phase from ion to solid uh, for the number of electrons that are attracted. So you've got to be thinking, all right, I had two electrons come over here, two silvers will change from a silver two plus to a silver solid. I lost those two positive charges, two potassiums come in. And then over here, you're looking at charge. All right, I had that one solid copper become a, a Cu2 plus. That two plus charge is going to attract two negative charges. How do I get two negative? From two chloride ions. So you're thinking about both. If you understand the principle of how those atoms, the solid atoms, and the ions, the charges, how they're moving, um, you can see how many ions you need to um, add from the salt bridge for positive and negative. And you're thinking, okay, if I'm losing that positive, I need to replace the positive. If I'm gaining more positive, it's gotta counteract with that negative. Um, now, if this uh, electrochemical cell, if that's confusing at all, please go to my Redox Electrochemistry playlist and I want you to watch the electrochemical cell. It gives you an overview of what's happening in an electrochemical cell and it will help this make maybe a little bit more sense. Big, big takeaway. As you get a buildup of charge in the half reactions in these half cells, the salt bridge will fill in ions to keep those half reactions neutral. You have to know which way which uh, each one goes. So potassium plus will go this way because we're losing the plus. Over here I'm gaining positive, so the chloride will go this way to neutralize that negative. Here we're ne neutralizing, I've got too many nitrates since I lost that positive AG, AG plus. Okay, so there you have it, salt bridge. Remember, these ions do not move through, ever. Number one mistake that I've seen for years from students, it's only the ions of the salt. Okay, good luck, so proud of you, have a good day.